and most people don't get to walk back here, so I thought I'd make a video for you. And is that the, that's the foundation from the Santa Maria Jelly. And after that, that's that. And then we talk about purification. So, you know, but it was actually, as I got in here, you start to see the foundations of the city. The way that you can actually do art and culture something that they engraved. And when it talks about the Word of God, it says that you want to engrave it on your heart. You know, in the same manner, people here at the center of Christmas, truly the center of the church, they would, they inscribed all of their history. They used it in their artwork. They ended up using it where you could actually, you can look at the intricate designs that they would have in each of these columns talks about in the Bible, seven churches, the seven pillars, the foundations, and whether you're Catholic or Baptist, you know, regardless of denomination, Christ, a portion of that history, when we look at the Word of God, what we end up doing is actually taking a portion of that and holding it in our hands, so that in this life, when we take Scripture and we read through it daily, a daily meditation of Scripture, we are engraving within our hearts that history of God and that history becomes our history it's the same way as when you walk into this museum and you end up seeing it's a story of a great man this is what they did this is the story of this temple when we look at the word of God we are engraving that history of God within our heart and it becomes a portion of our history just as the story of Christ is history we welcome into our hearts and into our temple, that story of the living God, and it becomes a portion of our history in the same way as we allow the history of the written word of God to become a part of us, we also become a part of it. And actually our lives show this, so that in everything that we do, God is able to illuminate us in a manner that it is evident that his word is within us and resides within us. So that engraved within our hearts, we have the eternal word of God go forth in our actions and our deeds and our thoughts and the manner that we live and everything that we do. And in all that we do, it makes a mark. And it's like you can look at this kind of a, this architecture. You could be able to look at the way that they built these columns. And generally you could tell that this was wrong. You can look at the way somebody lives and you should be able to say, that's a Christian. Because you see the principles, you see the ideas that they live by. And when they look at you, they should be able to see Christ. They should see the light of this world. And it should not only be written in your heart, but that that is written in your heart should come forth in your actions. So that it's very clear to see that Christ is with you, that God is with you. And that you have studied the word of God and you're inscribing it in your heart so that you have a deep understanding not only what are the meaning and significance and how to apply it into your life so that when people look at you as they look at that temple they need to be able to see Christ and they need to be able to see the glory of the living God this is Reverend Casey Carroll write the word of God in your heart when you go out there let people see it See you.